Hello my dear friends, we now begin with a new chapter and the title of that particular chapter is nothing but Elements of Groups 16, 17 and 18. Okay, this is the chapter title Elements of Groups 16, 17 and 18. All right. So now, I first of all begin with the introductory session, just an introduction about what exactly this chapter is all about. Those of Janteo, K Jatak elements ka sawal in the periodic table, they are classified into four categories and they are also being assigned particular groups. Groups ka matlab hota hai, the arrangement is going to be from top to bottom in a periodic table. To uske hisab se, when we start with the first one, that is the S block elements, the groups are going to be 1 and 2. Jitna capacity hota hai particular orbital ka, utna uska groups hoga. Okay, wo yaad rakhe. Okay, next one is P block. Now, what happens in P block is, the capacity is 6. So, as a result of which, it goes from 13 to 18. Now you will ask, B chola kithar gaya? B chola D block hai. Is liye toh usko transition elements bhi bola chata. It is in between, okay, S as well as P, okay. So, I can show it this way also. So, you understand this by this means of an arrow. Okay, between S and P are what? D. And that is going to be nothing but 3 to 12. Okay, these are the groups. And the F block is a part of D block elements. Alright, so it doesn't have a separate group as such. So group, I say here, total 18 groups are there and this is what how the uh, classification has been done. Up they go 16, 17 and 18. This is what the title of this particular chapter. So if you are trying to compare it with this, so it's very clear that 16, 17 and 18 comes under what? P block elements. Okay, what is P block elements? And also P block elements ka definition is what? Okay, where the last electron enters into the P orbital. Okay, whenever the last electron enters into the P orbital, that particular element is called as a P block element. Okay, and they are belonging to group numbers 13 to 18 because the capacity of P orbital is 6. So 13 to 18 comes out to be what? 6. Lekin, when it comes to the particular chapter, that what the syllabus that we are going to consider, and that is with respect to 16, 17, and 18, for the simple reason, and that is, okay, 13, 14, and 15 are already being discussed in the previous levels. So much man, all right? So this is what the introduction is all about, that basically we are talking about P block elements, okay? And they are being situated on the right hand side of the periodic table. Okay? Right. So now we will be considering all the various aspects okay, with respect to these elements of 16, 17 as well as 18. Alright? So we start with the very first property and that is called as occurrence. How these elements are going to occur. Okay? So that is what occurrence is all about. So in this case of occurrence, we begin with group number 16. So, oxygen, sulfur, selenium, tellurium, and polonium. These are the elements of group 16. Okay? Is when we talk about oxygen, ki baat karte, oxygen is going to be around say 20.95% which is present in air. They are also being present in the form of oxides. Okay, and hence we say that oxygen is going to be one of the most abundant element. Abundant metal which is going to be existing in higher proportion. Alright, in the atmosphere as well as in the earth's crust. Okay, so by volume it is being present in this extent 20.95% or in earth's crust mein, they are going to be combining with metals. Okay, metal oxides banta hai. Okay, they are generally solids or solids hai, they are going to be present in the earth's crust. Okay, now we talk about sulfur. Sulfur generally are present in the form of sulfates. 
कुछ एग्जाम्पल देना चाहूंगा आपको मैं जैसे कि जिप्सम है उसका फॉर्मूला है सी फिर है एप्सन सॉल विच इज नथिंग वर्ड एन जी एस एफ ओ अलॉन्ग विथ सेवन एच टू ओ ओके सल्फर इज ऑल्सो देर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ सल्फाइट्स जैसे कि एग्जाम्पल देता हूं मैं आपको जिंक ब्लेन ओके दैट इज जेड एन एच और भी एग्जाम्पल चाहिए तो गेलिना एंड दैट इज नथिंग वर्ड पी बी एच ओके सो बेसिकली सल्फर एग्जिस्ट इन दिस फॉर्म ओके इन लार्ज प्रपोर्शन सल्फेट एज वेल एज सल्फाइट ओके नेक्स्ट वन इज वेन यू नोट सेलिनियम एंड टेलोरियम दे आर ऑल्सो एग्जिस्टिंग इन द फॉर्म ऑफ मेथिल सेलिनाइट एंड टेलोराइट सेलिनाइट एंड टेलोराइट इस फॉर्म में वो एग्जिस्ट कर सकता है मेटल के साथ कंबाइन हो जाता है और इस तरीके से उसे हम लोग सेलिनाइट और टेलोराइट ऐसा बोलते हैं और जहां तक लास्ट एलिमेंट है पोलोनियम इट इज रेडियो एक्टिव ओके और आपको मैं जानकारी दू इट इज अ डीके प्रोडक्ट डीके मतलब डिस इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ रेडियो एक्टिव स्पीशीज सो इट इज अ डिस इंटीग्रेशन और अ डीके प्रोडक्ट ऑफ रेडियो एक्टिव एलिमेंट्स सच एज यूरानियम एंड थोरियम ओके उस जब उनका डीके होता है डिस इंटीग्रेशन होता है तब जाकर हमें क्या मिलता है पोलोनियम एंड पोलोनियम ऑल्सो टू असन एक्सटेंड एज गॉड रेडियो एक्टिविटी रेडियो इज नथिंग बट इट्स अ शॉर्ट फॉर्म ऑफ रेडिएशन एंड रेडिएशन आप जानते हो इट्स अ फॉर्म ऑफ एनर्जी और जब मैं एक्टिव बोलता हूं तो आप जानते हो अच्छी तरीके से अ पर्सन इज गोट बी एक्टिव एन इट एज गॉट हाई अमाउंट ऑफ एनर्जी एंड वेन द एनर्जी लेवल इज गोट बी हाई इट्स वेरी ऑब्वियस द स्टेबिलिटी लेवल इज लो और इसीलिए दोस्तों कि जब हम पोलोनियम का स्टेबिलिटी कंपेयर करेंगे विद द एलिमेंट्स ओके आप ग्रुप सिक्सटीन जैसे ऑक्सीजन हुआ सल्फर हुआ सेलिनियम थेलोरियम हुआ तो उसका स्टेबिलिटी इज लेस Okay, because of this radioactive nature. Okay, so this was uh, occurrence with respect to group sixteen. Okay, I hope you have understood this part. All right, now we consider the next group, and that is group number seventeen. The property is going to be still same, and that is we are going to discuss with respect to what occurrence. So the elements are fluorine, chlorine. ब्रोमीन आयोडीन एंड एसटाइन ओके दीज आर द एलिमेंट्स विच कॉन्स्टिट्यूट ग्रुप सेवेंटीन ओके आप जहां तक उसका नाम करें ना मैं आपको बताना चाहता हूं जब मैंने ग्रुप सिक्सटीन डिस्कस किया था दे आर कॉल्ड एज चालकोजेंस ओके बिकॉज दे हैव एबिलिटी टू फॉर्म ओर्स ओर्स प्रोड्यूसर्स ओके okay, मेटल्स के साथ कंबाइन करके वो ओर्स बना सकता है ओके ऑक्साइड सल्फाइड्स एंड सेल्यूलाइड्स एंड सल्फेट्स एंड ऑल दिस ग्रुप सेवेंटीन आर कॉल्ड एज हेलोजेंस ओके जेंस मतलब प्रोड्यूसर से या ऐसा यहां पर भी जेंस मतलब प्रोड्यूसर एंड हेलो मतलब सॉल्ट सो वी से दे आर सॉल्ट प्रोड्यूसर्स ठीक है ना वेन इज जस्ट टॉक अबाउट फ्लोरिंग Fluorine can be in the form of fluor spar. That is CF two. We also have cryolite. Na three, AlF six. Okay, हमारे पास है fluorapatite. That is three Ca three PO four twice, along with CF two. ओके इसके अलावा दे आर आल्सो बीइंग प्रेजेंट फ्लोरीन इज आल्सो बीइंग प्रेजेंट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ बोन्स एंड टीथ ऑफ एलिमेंट्स ऑफ एनिमल्स राइट दिस इज विद रिस्पेक्ट टू व्हाट फ्लोरीन व्हेन यू टॉक अबाउट क्लोरीन द वेरी फर्स्ट थिंग व्हिच कम्स इनटू माइंड इज व्हाट एनएसएल ओके व्हिच इज नथिंग बट व्हाट सॉल्ट ओके दैट इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट कॉमन एग्जांपल वी आल्सो हैव इन द फॉर्म ऑफ से केसीएल and mgcl2 and along with six water molecules okay which we also call it as carnalite okay they are also there okay most of the sea water are containing chlorides bromides iodides of sodium 
potassium, magnesium, and calcium. Alright? So these are what the existence are about. When you talk about iodine, basically iodine is present in seaweeds. Okay, the great occurrence of iodine is going to be in seaweeds. Bromine is the only liquid non-metal. Okay, remember this. Okay, bromine is what? The only liquid non-metal. So these are the general occurrence with respect to group number 17. Now we go into group number 18. Group number 18 we have is, uh, the very first element that we have is helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, and radon. Okay, these are the elements. Now, all of them exist in the atmosphere. All exist in the atmosphere except for radon. Okay, write down over here, except what? Radon. When you talk about helium, it's one of the major constituent of natural gas. Next is, all of these normally constitute around 1% of the volume in air. Alright. Uh, next one is, when you talk about uh, basically helium and neon are present in higher proportions. Okay, xenon and radon, okay, they are the rare elements, means its existence is in a lower proportion. Ye group 18 wale jo elements hai, these all group 18 elements, unko noble gases bola jata hai, ya fir we call it as inert gases. The reason is very simple and that is, they exist in the form of gaseous state. And dusra, okay, because they don't have the nature of reacting under normal conditions. Alright? By under extreme conditions, they do react. We have compounds of these elements now discovered. But then the conditions are not normal. We have changed the conditions and then these compounds can be formed. The conditions can be in terms of proportion. It can be in terms of temperature. It can be in terms of pressure, etc, etc. Okay? Like in under normal conditions, all of these are existing as gases and their chemical reactivity is low or is it's called noble gases or then inert gases. Aisa bola jata hai. Okay? When we talk about radon, radon is considered to be radioactive. And it is actually a decay product of radium. Okay? It's basically a decay product of what? Radium. Jiska atomic mass is around 226. Okay? Radium is the last element which comes under group 2. Or uh, group 2 ke elements, shayad aap jante hoge. And that is called as nothing but what? Yes. Alkaline earth metal. So, jab radium decay hoga, Okay, radioactive disintegration hoga. So the one of the product that can be obtained is called as what? Radon. Okay, and it is, as I said, just when I polonium ke case mein tha, the same thing is, this is radioactive. Similarly, jab hum group 17 ki baat karte tha, usme jo last element tha, that is astatine. Okay, so that is also going to be what? Radioactive. Ta aapko is tarike se yaad rakna. So you know 16, 17, 18, okay, all of them are being considered together. So comparison becomes very easy. Alright, so you can put down some common points also. Okay, if you are going to take all the three groups together. Okay, so the common point is with respect to the occurrence part is that the last element of all these groups are going to be radioactive. Okay, polonium of group 16, astatine of group 17, and of course that is radon of group 18. Okay, they are considered to be what? Radioactive elements and hence their stability as compared to the previous elements of the same group is going to be what? Less. And therefore its existence, its occurrence, okay, will be also to a lesser proportion. So I guess with respect to occurrence of 16, 17 as well as 18, you will understand this concept.